This video is sponsored by Pathfinder LED. So here's everything that came in the package. I ignore the painted part. That's uh, the rest of my parts are in the kitchen right now. I will bring them out here and organize those. But we basically have the trunk shell itself, uh, all the hardware for installation. You can see the harnesses are already installed for the speakers to connect to the motorcycle's harness. They even include the passenger backrest heater cable, which is good, even though they don't give you a heated backrest. Uh, this backrest is not heated. Here on the box, you've got the new rear speakers. We have the trunk latch mechanism down here in that little bag is a trunk latch button kind of underneath the back of the trunk you can see a cable that's the cable release for the trunk we have the speaker grill covers for the rear and these are the rear speaker enclosures and then this is that little lower inner panel and then this is a subframe that mounts to the frame you gotta remember this kit is designed for someone that has a bagger I don't know that I'm going to need that. I think it's identical to the one that's already mounted to my bike. We'll check it and make sure. Um, but again, this is really designed for someone that has a bagger model and they don't have that subframe. And then I'm going to go through and organize all of this hardware, all the various screws, bolts, uh, push pin clips, washers various and sundry items here now as i go over all these different parts and pieces for this trunk swap video series i want to remind you i'm going to be doing two more videos one is going to show a little bit of the assembly of the trunk we're going to get into that here in just a bit and then i'll be doing a final trunk swap video showing you the actual installation of the trunk and completing the job so if you like this type of content i would like to ask you a favor please take a second click that subscribe button down below don't forget the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when we come out with new videos and and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook let's get all this hardware organized and the first step is going to be getting that trunk off of my existing gold wing one of the things that has delayed this trunk project is I'm still waiting on my spoiler to arrive for the trunk lid. And so while I'm waiting on that, I'm going to go ahead and install the Honda sub harness that I'm using for the interior trunk light. I figured as long as the trunk is apart, I might as well go ahead and install a trunk light. And this is the sub harness that Honda requires that is installed. And here is the interior trunk light that goes in the trunk so that every time you open the trunk, it will light up what's inside the trunk. I love it. I have it on my existing gold, uh, Goldwing trunk, and I'm going to have it on the new trunk as well. In the sub-harness kit and in the trunk light kit, Honda provides these little adhesive foam pads, which you can use to kind of tie down the sub-harness and the trunk light harness as well. I'm probably going to use gaffer tape, but I may end up using some of that tape as well. They also provide some of these cable ties, which are very nice. And I'm just going to tape all of the cable ties to the underside of the trunk for now, because I won't need them until we go to install the trunk. Interestingly, this is the only thing you get with the trunk light and the sub harness, and it's basically a website you go to uh, to download the installation instructions.
If we turn the trunk lid liner around, you can see here is the blank that we have to cut out to install that interior trunk light. And I'm just going to use a pair of tin snips. You could use a little hacksaw. The trunk light mounts like that. So let's go ahead and cut this out. Earlier I said tin snips. I meant wire cutters. That's all you need. They're small enough to fit in there and they just cut right through that soft plastic. Makes it very easy to get that out. Even though it's probably not necessary, I am going to smooth these little sharp edges out just a little bit with a small file. Now it's just a matter of installing the light into the opening and putting the little collars over the uh, bosses so that we can screw this down. Now I forgot to put the washers on. I'll go back and have to unscrew this and put the washer in place because there is a little flat washer that goes on top. Okay, so I removed the screw and I installed the flat washer underneath the screw. And now that can go in on top of that collar. Once the light is mounted, now we can route our harness that goes to the front of the trunk. And it fits inside this channel that's kind of in the center of the trunk. And we're basically just going to tape it down. I'm going to use some of the Honda foam tape for this. You could also use gaffer tape. You see I have a roll of gaffer tape up there, up there in the kind of the front of the trunk. You can see it. So I'm just going to cut off three or four of these little foam strips and about the width of that channel. Now it's just a matter of peeling off that adhesive backing and taping down this wire harness. And you can tape it in three or four different places. I don't think it's going to go anywhere once you've got the trunk lid mounted uh, or this liner mounted inside the trunk lid. I don't know how it could fly away from you, so it's really not going to go anywhere. So I'm just going to mount it uh, using about probably three pieces of this foam tape. Now, I'm not sure why I'm being so overly precise here. It's really not super critical. I think I just had a lot of time on my hands today and I took my time to make sure it looked as good as I possibly could get it. And once again, you could just as easily use gaffer tape. This is gaffer tape. It's a fabric type tape. Very, very easy to tear and very easy to apply. And it also comes off very easily. Heck, I'm just going to go ahead and stick a piece of gaffer tape in between those two foam tape pads. Like I say, I must have just had a lot of time on my hands today. Now that the trunk light is mounted and the harness is taped down, it's time to install the sub-harness that goes to the motorcycle. This end plugs into the motorcycle down uh, kind of next to the right saddlebag. And then the other end is what we're going to use to plug into our trunk light. There's also a couple of other connectors there that can be used for some other lights that Honda makes. But we're just going to be using this blue connector today. That's the one for the trunk interior light. Now, just to show you that even Cruise Man can really screw up, here was my original thought on installing this harness. I saw that nice, beautiful curved channel on the trunk. This is the first time I've installed one of these on a 2021 trunk lid or trunk liner. So I thought, boy, it's perfect. It'll just fit right down in that channel, and it will go down where it needs to go to get down into the uh, into the shelter or in underneath the seat. But uh, later you're going to see this did not work out. So what I'm showing you here, uh, I ended up having to remove all the tape, take the harness off, and remount it in a different position. You know, I had the Honda instruction sheet, and I saw a picture. They showed exactly how to mount it. I just ignored it and thought I had a better way. They showed it mounting it right there where I'm holding it right now. That's what I end up having to do later. But I thought, you know, I'm smarter than Honda. I'm going to put it inside that channel because it's going to fit much better. Unbeknownst to me, the trunk lid that fits onto this liner also has a depression in it that fits down in that channel. So you can't mount it in that channel and have the trunk lid fit correctly. But you know me, I'm smarter than Honda. So you'll notice this little blue connector. It is keyed. The connector will only go in one way. And you basically just put the other end into it so that it fits correctly. It's like I say, you can only do it one way. And that is not the right way. That's the correct way. And you just push it all the way. You see that little 
that little hook there, and that hooks into that little tab, and that kind of holds it in place. So now it's in correctly. So just in case you want to see the incorrect way to mount the trunk sub harness, this is how you do it. You put it inside that channel, hold it down or tape it down with some gaffer tape. I'm actually glad I used the gaffer tape instead of the Honda tape because the gaffer tape later on is going to come off much easier. So I kind of lucked out on that one. And now I flipped that inner liner over and you can see the trunk light from underneath. This is how it looks once it's been mounted. You know, you can never be too rich, too thin, or have too much lighting on your motorcycle. But sometimes you just have to add these lights yourself. Pathfinder LED is the brand that I've been using on my Goldwing for years, as do my viewers. They offer high-performance lighting products for the 2018 and later Goldwing. Even if you ride an older Goldwing, they have great lighting for the 2001 to 2017 F6B models and even the GL1500. Pathfinder LED lights are super bright, and these are the guys that brought the dynamic braking and sequential LED technology to the wing. Pathfinder LED products are easy to install, and they're closely integrated to that OEM styling, so they look like something that came right out of the factory. I'm going to interrupt myself here and let you know that my Pathfinder multifunction dynamic switchback LED spoiler just got in. I'm installing the matte black version, which they just came out with. Man, that looks so cool. And you're going to see me install it here in just a minute. Be sure to check out all the Pathfinder LED products using the link below. And I'm also going to put links in the description of the video. Thank you, Pathfinder LED, for making this video possible. Now it's time for a time lapse. I'm going to cut out the templates that I need to use for marking and drilling the holes in those little trunk inserts. Next, I've got to remove the inserts. You've seen me do this before on a red Goldwing installing a chrome spoiler. So if you want to see how to do that, check out my YouTube channel. I've got a complete how-to video on this, but I'm basically marking these little inserts. And after following the instructions to drill the appropriate holes, first I start with a little pilot hole, and then I'm using this step bit to drill two 8mm holes and one that's 10mm. Now that I have my holes drilled, I'm going to reinstall those trunk inserts with my new foam that I installed. You probably saw that in the last video. So here's my trunk lid with the holes drilled, ready to install that spoiler. Look at that beautiful paint job. Isn't that incredible? So here I'm just doing a test fit. I want to make sure those mounting bosses fit correctly in the holes that I was able to get the uh, cables through the 10 millimeter hole and everything looks really good. This is what it's going to look like when it's all mounted up. I am so excited. I think it just looks so tough against that white paint. And once again, I'll remind you, I've got a complete video that shows how to install this spoiler. It was a chrome spoiler on a red Goldwing, but it's the same product, same installation. And if you want to know how to do this from A to Z, watch that video. I'll put a link up above in this video and in the description of the video. And after trying to get the lid to mount inside the, or the liner to mount inside the lid, here's where I had to redo and remount that harness. You can see I had to put it up on top of the highest point, which sounds illogical, but you cannot put it in that channel or the trunk liner will not fit back inside the lid because you've got this, this kind of elevated space here and that fits down inside that channel and there's just not enough room for those cables to go in there. So I had to move uh, the cables to where Honda said uh, to install them in the first place. I guess Honda does actually know what the hell they're doing. And with that done, everything went back together just swimmingly. It was super simple once I moved those cables to the correct position. And this is now what the trunk lid looks like with the liner installed, ready to go on the bike. So there's the trunk lid ready to go. I think it looks really good. In the next video, I'm going to show you how I take the trunk off of my 2018 Goldwing. 
So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next Cruise Man's Garage Trunk Swap video series.